And all of a sudden, I'm doing a, a dirty wine. Now, previously on this channel, I endeavoured to find a prime bottle in the wild. I think you're a tosser. I feel like a tit. The sky is grey, as is my soul. Ooh. Ooh. And some keen-eyed observers saw one part of the whiteboard blurred out. Merge. Create something people associate with me. The days of having some catchphrase on the t-shirt are pretty much gone. Now it's full clothing lines, events, and when you read the upper echelons of people giving a shit about you, it's food and drink. Emma Chamberlain has a coffee, which is incredibly white girl stereotype, but still pretty cool. The side men dominate the UK scene, and Mr. Beast dominates the entire world. I've never actually like enjoyed a Mr. Beast video, apart from the Squid Game one. It's just too like, just, I, I wanna hear some jokes. Give me some, I wanna, I wanna know the banter. Now today I'd like to do some market research. I wanna know which ones are actually good, what ones I would potentially buy again completely normally and actually use, and also to see if any of them inspire me to see what I could potentially make as merch. This is Snoop Dogg's Cali Red Wine. What the fuck does Snoop Dogg know about wine? All right, first up, we have Mr. Jamie Lang of Maiden Chelsea fame. These are his sweets. Candy Kittens, Gourmets, Sweet Raspberry and Guava, and Wild Strawberry, which is like strawberries, but outside. I'm gonna start with the Sweet Raspberry and Guava. I'm not particularly a sweet man, so I think making sweets probably isn't for me, but I'll give them a go. It looks like a little pig. Is it a pig? No, it's a cat. Oh, it's a bit of a mission. Fuck it out, I look fat. Mm. It was such a mission, it felt like I was eating gelatin directly from a pig's foot. They're not bad, but I don't really see the value. Let's try the wild strawberry. Oh, these are gonna taste good. You can tell from the texture. Oh, fuck me, yeah. Yeah. Oh, well done, Jamie Lang. I'll give the wild strawberry a 8.6 and the sweet raspberry and guava a two. Now what I do love is chocolate. What I'm concerned about is American chocolate. Now I've never had American chocolate, but I've heard terrible things, quite abominable things. We've got milk chocolate and original chocolate. Now these bad boys are not sold in the United Kingdom. They are actually, if you go onto Etsy and you pay like an extortionate amount, these were like eight pound each from some random person in North London. Right, we'll try original chocolate first. It tastes like cooking chocolate. Next up is the milk chocolate, and to be fair, the original chocolate wasn't as bad as I thought it would be, so I've actually got quite high hopes for the milk chocolate. Mmm. Mmm. I'm getting tastes of cheap, but it wasn't cheap. A Yorkie, a hundred, a thousand times better. So I'll give this a four, and this is a four. I love chocolate, but I don't think I'd release a chocolate bar because I feel like the chocolate bar has already been perfected, which is quite obviously a Kit Kat Chunky or a Kinder Bueno. I'm gonna have some more of these candy cans. Oh, this is so up my street. Turns out wild strawberry is the pinnacle of strawberry taste. Strawberries from the wild, unwashed. I want strawberries that are so naturally sourced, they've gone in a bear and come out the other end. The bears eat strawberries? I don't know. They'd eat these though, 100%. They're raiding your camp. This is the Tyson Fury energy drink that you might recognize from the previous video. Bloody hell. This is about as awe-inspiring as a, as a fight against Derek Chisora in 2022. Personally, I don't think I would ever make an energy drink because I don't drink them, because I'm not 15 in a park. Who is this even for? Are you gonna crack out on your lunch break, come back to the office, with an energy drink with this guy's face on it. Two out of 10. Shocking, Tyson. You bumbling bumberclot. Right, we now move on to a 
Snoop Dogg bottle of wine. If anyone asks, I'm not about to just push the cork in. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> not at all. That's not a cork, it's a buoyancy aid. Is, is that quite a lot? I've got no idea how much is a lot of red wine. I'm getting smells of, oh, lonely 40 year old woman. <laughs> it smells like the film Bridget Jones. I got a bit of cork. <coughs> I got quite a lot of cork. <laughs> Is it the first one I'm gonna buy off the shelf? No, I'm gonna get a Guinness. That's what I'm gonna get. Would I get into wine in the future? No, I'm, I think it's pretty safe to say I would not bring out my own kind of wine. I think it's okay. I think it serves a purpose. It was nine pounds. I'm gonna give this a, a seven goes down relatively smooth, and I reckon I could drink a couple glasses without being sick. Next up on the agenda is Aviation American Gin by Ryan Reynolds, AKA Deadpool, AKA the co-owner of Wrexham AFC with Rob McElhenney. I have to piss out of my penis. Now, I'm not a massive gin drinker. But I am a drinker, so let's see how this goes. Maybe I'll have an epiphany and be like, you know what? I can make my own gin and release a gin. Alcohol seems to be a theme that I enjoy, that a lot of people enjoy. Now I am not gonna have this straight. I'm gonna have it with some lemonade because one, tonic is vile and disgusting. And two, who just has a shot of gin or vodka or whatever? That's insane. That's like eating raw dog squash without diluting it. Batshit insane. It's not cool, it's not clever, it's not funny, it's not sensible. Drink 10 Guinnesses instead and four espresso martinis. That's way better for you. Now this is a particularly odd shaped glass so I, I have no bearing on how much I'm meant to put in but... Let's just pop some of the world's cheapest lemonade in there with it to really bring out the taste. Or mask it, I'd rather it mask it. Cheers. Uh oh, do I like gin? I don't want to be a gin drinker. Oh shit. Oh, it's smooth. What's going on in there? A little bit of magic, I think. Ginny Weasley slapped me and called me Ron. Wait, that's weird, they're related. I'm gonna have to give aviation gin like a, a nine. Oh, shit. The gin doesn't feel very me. I don't think, in the future, down the line, I would do a gin. It doesn't really vibe with me. What does vibe with me? Vodka. Now, the wonderful thing about vodka, it's not trying to be a taste. It's trying to get you hammered as quickly as humanly possible. I want whatever I'm drinking to taste like a sugary treat. I want the alcohol to surprise, to come up behind me Surprise the shit out of me. And all of a sudden I'm doing a, a dirty wine. This is my free bottle of Sidemen vodka I got for going to the Sidemen 9th birthday party. <clears throat> now I have had Sidemen vodka before, but I don't remember what it tastes like because I drank too much of it too quickly from an ice sculpture of the Pokemon Gary dose. And I got sent home in an Uber at 10 o'clock in the evening, about two hours after the event started. And then I did a, I did a, I may or may not have done a little piss in my bedroom bin. And I say may or may not, because I don't remember a single thing. So let that be a lesson to you. Shit, shit. Oh, fucking hell. You know what? I think the lemonade might be the best thing out of all of this. This classic lemonade is doing fucking wonders. I might release a lemonade. I don't even like lemonade. I don't like any fizzy drinks. I don't like the bubbles. Does that make me less of a man? Maybe. Now, I'm not just knobbing them off. It, it genuinely is good. It doesn't have to be the best because you would buy it because you, you want to support the people you enjoy watching. You feel like you know the people directly through the screen rather than through an entire TV studio. And that makes you feel like you're their friend. Kind of strange how that works. Now I have done merch before. It was a couple years ago when I had about 20,000 subscribers and it was just like a little graphic I did on a t-shirt. 
and that was it. Now I thought about making more recently and you know, it gets near Christmas and everyone releases merch because it's the best time, Christmas presents, but if I'm being truthful, all I wear is an insane amount of Carhartt and Dicky stuff and retro football t-shirts and football related garments. I could always just make something purely for the money, some random design on the t-shirt, maybe something I say like women in general or like I love Guinness. But to be quite frank, money is important to me. I would like to make money. But if it really meant more to me than doing something I'm actually proud of or passionate about, then I'd still be making Reddit reaction videos and TikTok reaction videos, but I'm not. And getting that bread is absolutely fine by all means, but I just, I don't think I've got that in my, in my remit, which has made me realize I don't wanna be a businessman. I'm not a businessman. I would like to make money in my own way by being a creator. I wouldn't want a wine brand or a sweet brand. I wanna make things that I'm passionate about. Design and film and just creating things, images, visual things. So in respect of that, I have created a website where if you pop in your email address, you will be notified when the first ever bit of Kieran Cullen art will be released and available to purchase. I've been your boy, Kieran. Thank you all for watching. Why don't you do something that you want to do today? And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.